Breaking news. Good luck, Jonathan, snubbing PDP internal crisis set to grab APC presidential ticket. My wonderful people, this is the new um, news making rounds now that Good Luck Ebele Jonathan is, uh, you know, fraternizing with all progressive Congress and uh, very soon we might be hearing the whistle blow. You know, when they, are, when they are on the pitch and when they are playing, you don't make your conclusions yet. You may have your references, you may have whatever you are saying, but it's just only for the time being. You can, okay, because within the game, within the hour, anything can happen. So this is what is going on. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan, you know, is working tirelessly and is working with these people and nigerians are wondering and saying oh god which side you really did you are you here or there what side which or which side of it are you really on anyway my people this is what is happening and then um, we are keeping you informed as the matter unfolds don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe good luck Ebele jonathan really working hard as we can see that they are dangling presidency before him now don't forget that this is not uh what just what they know that he can only do one tenor I will tell you why after the news. Let's get all the details. Former President Good Luck Ebele Jonathan has concluded plans to the to dump the People Democratic Party PDP for the All Progressive Congress APC. This was made known by chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party NNPP barrister Olushegu Badmos. He claimed that the APC is doing all it can to retain power in 2023 despite the poor performance of the administration led by President Muhammadu Buhari. Badmos disclosed that Bo Jonathan is expected to join the All Progressive Congress before January. January 2022 with a governor and a senator. Watch out. According to him, Senator Stella joined the, peep, the party recently in preparation for Jonathan to equally decamp. The lawyer told Daily Post that the ruling party has offered its presidential ticket to Jonathan and the former president has agreed in in principle to cross over to the All Progressive Congress. Badmore said he has been brainwashed by some APC stewards that is the most qualified Southerners to take Southernan to take over from Buhari, having honorable honorably accepted defeat in 2015. They have been able to convince him that it is time for payback for what he did in 2015, he said. That is, this is why Jonathan has not been showing any interest in the internal and in, in the internal crisis going on in the People's Democratic Party, snubbing every one of them. Badmore said he has been brainwashed by some APC stewards that he is the most qualified Southerner to take over from Buhari, having honorable, honorably accepted defeat in 2015. They have been able to convince him that it is time for payback for what he did in 2015, he said. This is why Jonathan has not been showing any interest in the internal struggles in the party, the People Democratic Party. Other things being equal, Jonathan will cross over to APC with a governor, senator, to convince the APC that it's still politically relevant. APC has planned to unsettle PDP in order to politically neutralize them against 2023. It is mostly likely that the People Democratic Party will break into fractions soon with this strategy of APC. This is just the master plan APC has concluded to zone the presidency to the south and will also ensure that People Democratic Party su join suits. They will go to any length to ensure that Atiku Abubakar is denied a ticket by People Democratic Party. The fear is that the ethnic sensitization may not be ruled out if Article contests against a Southern candidate. Nigerians should, however, reject APC and People Democratic Party as they are just one and the same and looking for what profits them and their interests alone. So this is what is happening whether you like it or not, Nigeria, they are just playing Nigeria like a chess, a game of chess. And that's why we must continue to pray. Most of them, seriously, truly speaking, do not care for Nigerians. Oh, no, they don't. What they really care for is themselves, to be quite candid. What they really care for is themselves. And this is why Nigerians must really stand up and say no to the oppression. This is why Nigerians must stand up and say we cannot accept this any longer. The truth of the matter is all that is going on is a 
clear indication that these people are only formatting, you know, a, a position for them to stay in power and to stay relevant and not because they care about the people that they are, you know, that they are leading. When Jonathan was around, we knew that he really concentrated on the North, tried to do what we call imaginary schools, or to get the interest of the North, to get them to believe in him, and that he's one of them, so that um, they, they can vote him in, and he can, you know, become... But guess what? They even laughed at him. They laughed him to scorn, because he wanted, you know, to make sure that the imaginaries, those children that, you know, parents have discarded or dis deserted, you know, can have can have a can have a, a you know a place and this is what we are saying nigerians is time to rise up it is time to say no to these things that are going on so that we can move forward moving forward is a very critical aspect of all those things that are going on and if we must move forward is a deliberate action on your side my side on our side that's the way to go is a deliberate conscious and constant one uh -huh. because the people you are sin and you think that they are government most of them is for themselves so uh, good luck jonathan that they are planning to come come back what exactly did he do was it not in his turn that corruption was the order of the day just a question was it not when he was the president that corruption that we have former minister a woman you know committing such atrocities untold of you see, so if you look at the whole thing, where exactly are we? Where are we going to? And how do we solve this problem? Because these people are after what they want. They are after their own political affluence. Because if you look at good luck Jonathan's uh, 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 in-law, his son-in-law, he has already decamped some months ago and Nigerians were thinking he will follow suit. And they've given him condition, you will decamp with a minister, with this, with that, with that. Can't you see it's a strategy not for Nigerians but against Nigerians? Can't you see for yourself? So who exactly and which of them exactly is really, you know, is really intentional, correct and moving forward and intending that this nation will become a place, you know, that will be that will be like, you know, one of these advanced countries that they will begin to come here, you know, for holiday and love this place and want to stay. So these are questions we must ask ourselves and stop disturbing ourselves and deceiving ourselves that something is working when truly and really speaking, it's not. It's not. So if things must change, things must work, we have a duty. One of those duties is to pray. After prayer, what we do, we do. We speak out. PDP, APC, listen, they are the same thing. Don't get it twisted. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.